Malaysia, Moldova, Nepal, South Korea, Taiwan. People, welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today. Guys, this is another day and all we can say is thank you Jesus for oxygen. Now, to those who are looking to travel abroad, who want to jackpot to European countries, like I always say, there are a lot of updates in Europe now, not just in Europe anyways, even in America, there are still updates. So, you have to be very strategic. This is not even something we have to joke about. You have to be very strategic in the way you are planning your jackpot because you might be applying for a school in a particular country before you know the embassy is closed. There is no appointment. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about changes in Lithuania. Remember I said there are some changes right now in Lithuania. I know a lot of people have not seen this. People will be applying to schools until when it's time for visa before they will come across this information. But I'm going to give you all the details. Now, remember, few years back, there was a visa where you will go to Egypt and you apply and you get the visa, but it was scrapped off. Then later on, they brought in the issue of VFS Global. Like if you were moving to Lithuania, you will now get what is called a temporary residence permit. And it was only gotten from Jordan or Lebanon, somehow Dubai, UAE. Now, this year, as I'm talking to you, there is a new communique and I'm going to read it very well for you so you understand please listen to this video because i will not repeat myself again for something i have already said on this channel please if after this you have a problem you want guidance you need a guidance for anything study abroad please book an appointment from the video description box then i will call you and we discuss that is the only way possible now the new communique says that the Lithuanian government is going to be scrapping off the Jordan, Lebanon, and Sri Lanka, India embassies from international students. It's possible to apply from these other countries now if you are going for work visa and maybe a visit visa or maybe a short stay visa. It's possible. But as it stands right now, as an international student, you do not qualify to apply again from Jordan, Lebanon, and I am going to be reading the details to you from my desktop here. Please listen to me very well. It's so important. Now, this is coming from the immigration website, the Migris website. And after this, I will drop a link in the video description box. So if you listen to me, go to that link, click the other sections of the website so you read more about the details on the website. Now, let's go. It will not be possible to apply for temporary residence permit in Jordan, Lebanon, and Sri Lanka, and India only in exceptional cases. This is the heading. This news came on 30th January 2024. Now, the news says, a new list of foreign countries where an applicant for a temporary residence permit in Lithuania can be submitted through an external service provider has been approved by order of the ministry, Minister of the Interior, Agnen below 12. so what they are trying to say is the jordan the lebanon that was given last year and i know a lot of my students i think i have four students who moved from uh, some got their visas from uae others got it from jordan they are all in lithuania now there are four of them they did it last year now so this law has been changed or let's say they changed it this january so you cannot apply again from these areas but there are some countries given which i'm going to read out to you so if you have an african watching me a nigerian a cameroonian a Ghanaian, a kenyan somebody from india an indian a pakistani please watch to the end so you understand the list has been shortened to 31 countries out of 34 so before you had 34 countries including lebanon jordan sri lanka and india and they have been removed so now we have 31 left now let's go as of march 1st foreigners will no longer have the opportunity to apply for temporary residence permits in jordan lebanon and sri lanka the branches of the external service provider which is the vfs global which have saved lithuania in these countries would be closed as of the same date which is march 1st the outsourcers branch in india would accept applicants only on certain grounds let's read further 
year foreigners would be able to apply for a temporary residence permit if they plan to come to lithuania on the basis of family reunification in turn of work as highly skilled workers or are invited to study in our country's scientific and study institutions according to approved study program as well as a doctoral research so if you are an indian watching me you can go to lithuania by applying through the indian vfs center if you are going for phd if you are going as an invitee if you are going for family reunification and if you are going for research work it would also be possible to submit an application if the foreigner is transferred within the company or intend to come to our country as a teacher or researcher under an employment contract with a research and study institution foreigners in indians would not be able to apply for temporary residence permits in lithuania on all other grounds i hope you got it it would also no longer be possible to apply for national visas in these countries i hope you understand for those who are asking me the branches of the external service provider open in early 2023 in other foreign countries would operate as usual temporary residence permits and national visas for residing in lithuania can be applied on all grounds in so listen to me please if you are a nigerian a cameroonian watching me or whichever nationality you are these are the places where you can apply for your temporary residence permit now after you watch this video or let me say after march first the countries are albania argentina armenia australia azerbaijan brazil canada georgia israel japan Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, is Malaysia, Moldova, Nepal, South Korea, Taiwan, Tajis, Tajikistan, Thailand, Turkey, Ukraine, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, the United States, Uzbekistan, and Venezuela. So as it stands, most african countries can only apply from united arab emirates now cameroonians Ghanaians, kenyans other nationalities can go to uae and nigerians we are so sorry i was told that nigerians cannot go to uae now so now nigerians how do you intend to apply for your visas that should be the question you guys cannot go to uae now which is the nearest as i know you guys can only go to turkey and it looks like turkey is not really accepting nigerians how do you intend to apply for your visas now this is why i always say that when there is an opportunity try to grab it as fast as possible because things can change and things are changing this is the same thing happening with canada this is the same thing happening in south korea this is the same thing happening with poland same thing happening with czech republic Things are changing. Now, the list of these countries are stipulated in the description of the procedure for issuing temporary residence permits in Republic of Lithuania to foreigners is approved by the Ministry or Minister of Interior. The number of persons service in foreign countries is also coordinated with the Ministry of Interior. So, Cameroonians, the only place is UAE now or Turkey, but the nearest, as I know, is United Arab Emirates. Nigerians, I do not know. So you have to go through this state, these countries, to see which one or where you are going to go and apply for your visa to. You, maybe you can go to the Philippines. Is the Philippines closer? Nigerians. Well, Thailand. I think Thailand is also an option. You have to think about it. But for Cameroonians and other nationalities, you are free to go to UAE. I hope this helps you. I'm going to be bringing more updates in case I find them till we meet again in another one. Bye.